really hear me, bitch. Nah, I don't complain. Just gotta flip the switch and you can go and obtain. Mambo Jumbo, my lovely people, welcome back to the channel. Ha, we are back in the red room, guys. Yes. <laughs> Thank you so much for being here. My new subscribers, thank you so much for joining the family. Please feel at home. I welcome you, okay? And my returning subscribers, as always, thank you so much for your love, support, everything nice that you did to me on this specific channel. I do not take you for granted even one bit. Lots of fights in Nyabohanse village between among these Nyabohanse boys and guys. This is not the first time that I've come here to say that YouTube, <laughs> YouTube is the greatest problem. Huh? YouTube will be the biggest problem among the Nyabohanse boys, among these men and girls in this village because everybody is greedy, everybody wants to natus, everybody wants to fight each other to be above everyone else okay and then we'll be looking at some turtles <laughs> that ate it it mara's expensive fish from his own fish pond and of course my condolences to the heart of africa spirit who just lost her life in one of the hotels in Nyabohanse, guys it's not some very good news especially when it comes to this lady who i saw every day outside maro's bedroom maro's entrance that entrance that leads to his bedroom she was always there talking about the master class doing her master class praising maro because you know she came all the way to see him and he has inspired her in fact she even met maro just recently she didn't know maro from a while back and something just told her, board this plane, go over to Nebohanse and be part of this one month long party that was in Villa Medellin. I looked at Heart of Africa Spirit, okay, that's her name if I'm not wrong. And she was talking about being, uh, being a Meru, being a Meru from Kenya. So she's an American but from Kenya. And what is even more sadder, guys, this is like double tragedy, or I don't know how I can put it. Her own sisters were coming to see her, you know, view the body and just maybe just come and say, yes, we know this, uh, we know this sister of ours. And when they got there, one of the sisters fainted and also lost her life. Guys. Hey, okay. I had Mara say this and I was like, what is happening? why is this happening like this i can imagine the pain the family is going through right now because mara says that two sisters passed on in a span of two days guys this is nothing to joke about the amount of sadness i felt looking at mara just put across this message and i was like wow this is too much for one family and this is not even enough. They had lost other family members during the course of 2023. So this year is not their year. This year is not their year, guys. Guys, life is so fickle. Life is so delicate. I woke up today and I was like, I'm alive. You know, I've woken up, I'm seeing another day. And yet this person that I had virtually seen through the screen right in Villa Medellin is no more plus her sister who came to view her body. It really broke my heart. I wake up today and I'm like, thank God, thank you God for yet another day to live, another day to see the beauties and wonders of what you have placed before me thank god guys every single day you wake up if you believe just thank god because i can't even imagine i cannot imagine what the family is going through right about now my condolences to the sisters who've passed on and the family of of course the heart of africa spirit this was a very jovial lady, smiling every single day, loving the African culture. I could just see how she was expressing herself in my head right now. And I'm like, yo, she loved life. She loved Africa. She wanted to tell the African story. She really was so passionate about it. We don't know about tomorrow, guys. We just don't know. 
about tomorrow so be grateful every single day you just wake up say thank you god not very many people have seen today but you have been gracious enough to me to be able to see yet another day r.i.p to the lost souls okay so now let us look at um masubo one <laughs> Uh, who was fought by Zach Discoveries. I'm sorry, guys, okay? I'm sorry, let us up this, you know, what is it called? Let us psych up, at least for a second. Masubo One was just fought by Zach Discoveries in Yabohanse. Zach Discoveries came for his head. Masubo One has been saying that, you know, <laughs> I fear nobody. But this time around, I'm seeing Masubo now being afraid and running in between the, you know, maize plantations to run to his house. And his bike was also, you know, something. Zach Discoveries hit his bike, dismantled one or two things here and there. And all this happened. I didn't see any footage. He just says it happened and uh, it is what it is. How many times, guys, have we been here? I personally have said that YouTube is the biggest problem, will be the biggest problem in Yabuhansi. And this is what we are seeing now, brothers fighting brothers, because Masuba One came to say that Zach Discoveries was done for something by the government. And Masubo One also said that, oh, Zach Discoveries, this and that. He's been out here to speak the reality, guys. Reality, the truth. And people are not happy about it, okay? So now he, he, and by he, I mean Zach Discoveries, guys. My head today is just jumbled up. I'm sorry, okay? I think because of the heart of African spirit story. So Zach Discoveries comes for Masubo One. And I'm like, yo, so if you boys from Nyabohanse, yes, guys, I call them, people call them Nyabohanse boys. If you guys from Nyabohanse, you boys from Nyabohanse are fighting each other right now over reaction videos, over being exposed, over receipts being brought to light, then what else could happen if this is during daylight? Uh, that Zap Discoveries just jumped on Masubo's head and his bike, then what will happen in the dark? What is the safety of you boys in that village? You guys are going to be just, you know, finishing each other for no reason. Just because of YouTube. Just because of greed. Just because you love money. Just because of Donatus. It's not the first time I'm saying this, guys. Uh, and we'll be here for the next couple of years, months, or whatever. To just see what happens exactly because now the bonds that they had formed in there, every bond is broken. No one wants to be with another one. Everybody wants to shine. No one wants to be the left one out. Everybody is fighting for Adonatus. Everybody is fighting for Adonatus, loving them, sending them money, attention and all this nonsense. Okay? So I'm seeing these people fight and I'm like, for what? Masubo one. Zap discoveries. Why are you fighting each other? <laughs> why are you fighting each other of course looking back a couple of people are not happy that Masubo One came out with all these you know how can I call them not expose really all the receipts that are now from this guy called Sir Edwards Project okay and I think the last time I did this Sir Edwards Project story I came out here to say that Sir Edward must have been sending this Nyabohanse boys especially Masubo and the receipts I even saw Ernest say that he has the receipts as well about you know what happened between fellow the boy and um uh, what's his name this this name is Sir, is hard. Sir Edward okay and I was like, Sir Edward must have pushed these receipts to these Nyabohanse boys because he wants them to bring them out. Now the problem is Masubo One, you came out here and exposed documents. And at the same breath, fellow the boy is talking about Sir Edwards taking this issue to the courts. So if this issue is going to the courts, again guys, just like, you know, this issue about, <laughs> about who <laughs> jump to us. If this issue is going to the court, why are we on the ground with receipts? Why are we on the ground exposing what really went down? Why are you on the ground exposing the monies that you sent, the receipts and all these shenanigans? Let the courts handle it, okay? 
let the courts handle it unless you've been given the right to do so but again we are not really sure masumba one came exposing documents right here and i was like chill huh i need more proof more more proof guys chill with the documents stop flashing documents and all this information on your screen because it's not allowed it's wrong i can easily want to see what is you know in those documents by simply posing taking a screenshot and zooming in and just getting all this info but for what why are we exposing this person like this this person called sir edwards huh if this issue is actually with the courts in the law why are you out here using Nebuhanse boys in the names of Masubo one Ernest Ernest didn't bring the receipts like Masubo one did and also Mike Ventures why are you using now these boys to bring your story across that is what we were asking okay there's no problem guys I said I personally said in 2024 if you're being scammed uh, by anyone from this village called Nyabohanse, you're the biggest fool. <laughs> yes, you're the biggest fool alive. Period. 2024, you're sending and trusting someone with your money. Uh, in the name of they're going to be doing what I want them to do. They're going to be running my project. Think. 2024 again if you're scammed by anybody from Nyabohanse, you're the biggest fool that ever crossed over to 2024 so <laughs> rose your mom hi hey <laughs> rose your mom hi rose your mom has been receiving some turtles okay the last i watched was a little boy i think two little boys i don't even know they're just little boys there with these turtles and she loves turtles and they're like oh we've brought you a turtle and also i think there's a time a turtle was put in the water and I saw Rosio mom do that and she's like will this eat the fish and they're like no it's not going to be eating the fish and she lowers this turtle to the fish pond this is the same day that she came out with a story about cleaning that fake kitchen outside their bedroom and uh, Misty not doing the perfect job and now this Elizabeth girl from the Gulf was there now trying to shine with this story okay so she lowers this turtle and shortly after I'm like, yo, there's, an, <laughs> there's a video up by Mara. Mara is saying it's a sad day because his most expensive, huge fishes have been eaten, killed by these turtles. And I was like, what is happening? Rosio mom, <laughs> Rosio mom, what did you do? This is so dangerous. But at the same time, this guy said that nothing, nothing is going to be happening because these turtles can absolutely live with the fishes. This fish pond has seen a lot of fish being put into it, a lot of other dangerous things like these turtles being put into it. People have been questioning about the cleanliness. How safe are the fishes in this place? Because the water to my eyes from my screen looks like green water, looks like frog water. And guys were like, oh, it's everything is safe. Nothing is going to happen. These animals and all these, you know, <laughs> things can cohabit, can live together. And then alas, turtle is biting on the biggest fish, most expensive ones from this pond. Yes, guys, today I'm not bringing receipts because I am tired, guys. I know I said that when I come back to Nairobi, I'll be chilling, coming to the red room and speaking to you guys and bring this juice. <laughs> and i'm here guys went to a party yesterday oh my god omg lol like yo hey right now guys i just feel like a kite right about now however that is not reason enough not to bring you a video yesterday but i was like you know what let me chill because once i come back to the streets guys it's gonna be back to back back to back videos of course now entering the new year tomorrow we'll be crossing over the year and uh i'll be going somewhere of course again i hope to vlog or to just bring out a video for you guys the next day i really cross my fingers that i do however it is what it is guys okay i'm back yes i said i'm in nairobi i'm back i'm seeing my sister carol in naivasha still trying to push up some content and i'm like yo i'm like this girl called am carol relax breathe 
take a day off <laughs> like i said guys reaction will continue regardless this thing is so addictive let me not lie to you okay yes tomorrow we come back with receipts maybe even tonight who knows let me see what will be happening i could be coming back with another video today and of course if you are not subscribed and would love to subscribe please always know that you are free to do so and i on trending will definitely catch you on my next video happy holidays guys it's almost school back to school back to school maybe something like 10 11 days and the babies are now still going to be going back to school everything is going fast 2023 is done 2024 here we come thank you so much for watching guys bye bye Go.